What is up guys? Welcome to your fourth GML Beginners tutorial. And in the last tutorial I talked to you guys a lot about um, drawing strings. And that was really cool. And I showed you guys how to draw out a string and how to get the X and Y position for it. Well in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make what's called a string variable. Because let's say you don't want to write all this out here, but you want to put it in a variable. So that you just put in the variable name and it would type out a string for you. Well I'm going to show you how to do that. We're in object under slash test. Go to your create event and let's open up the code. And let's make this variable. And we're going to name this variable name. And we're going to give it a value of, we're going to put in my name. So if you want it to be a string variable though, it has to be in double quotations and you have to put in what you want it to be. So in this case, we're going to name it Zachary. Or we're going to give it the value of the string Zachary. We're going to end that in a semicolon. So what we just did was made a variable that contained the string Zachary. And it doesn't have to be just one word. You can put as much as you want in here. And it's going to be in inside this variable. So let's go ahead and delete all this crap. So we just made this variable. But how do we draw it out on the screen? Well, we go into our draw event. And we go into this code. And let's go ahead and erase this right here. Now, we have a string variable. So if we want to draw it out on the screen, draw out what's inside this variable, we do it just like we did in the variable we made a couple tutorials ago, how we drew that out. We just write in the variable name, which in this case is name. Now, what that's all that's going to do is, let's go ahead and show you. Once it loads here, it's going to do, you guessed it, it's going to write out what was in that variable, which in this case was Zachary. So let's go ahead and close that. So, you know, don't be confused and think just because this is a string variable, now you have to write name in double quotations. If you ever want to write out a variable, but you put it in quotations, it's going to treat that variable as, as a string. So look at this. We just put this name in double quotation, or we just put this variable in double quotations. All that's going to do is literally draw out the word name, and it is not going to draw out this variable which contains a string Zachary. Same with this variable we created a while ago called mouse clicks. If we put those in quotations, it's just literally going to write out mouse clicks. And I'm going to show you real fast. Again, we just put those variables in quotations. And once it loads up here, and look, see on the top left it says mouse clicks, and down here it says name. Why? Because we told it we wanted it to be a string, and we told it we didn't tell it that we wanted it to write out the variable. If we wanted it to write out the variable, we would not put quotations at all, because again, it just treated it as a string. So that's cool. That's and that's something to keep in mind. So another thing I want to show you really quick is a cool little piece of code that you can use for some of your games. So we are going to delete this string that we wrote here. And let's say you have a game and you allow your players to name their own characters. Well, you would do it this way. Name equals get under slash string, and then you put in your first parenthesis, and then you put two double quotations, and inside of that you would write, what is your name? Question mark. Then you put a comma, and put double quotations again, and then end it in the last parenthesis, and then end that in a semicolon. What this get string is going to do is ask for your name, and then in these empty blank double quotations is where you will put in the value. And then what all that's going to do is store it in this variable called name. After that, it's going to go into the draw event, and it's going to draw out that variable called name. And let me show you this in action. My computer's slowing down because it's really hot in my house right now. Alright, so look, as soon as the game starts, it wants to know what is your name. Well, I'm going to make my name Josh. Click OK. And then you can see it drew out that variable Josh. Or it drew out the variable name, but it drew out the value that was within the variable. Because with that code, it, 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 um, it, um, asks for your name and... I lost my train of thought there. But um so look at this. We actually still made a variable called name, but we just gave it the value to this code right here, which will get the string, ask a question, and then right here, in these double quotations that say nothing, will be the value that will be put into this variable. So hopefully that makes sense. Just play around with this code. And you can even do different things like what is your age? 
and then in these double quotations you can put put your age here so and let me show you what that did really quick it's gonna load up and it says what is your age and then see where we put those last time it was there was nothing in those double quotations this time we put in a string and it says put in your age here and we can erase that and put in 20 and what that just did whatever's in this little you know text box is going to be put into that variable name so click OK your age is 20 so in this case we're gonna change it up what is your name and put your put your name here or we could just leave it blank it really doesn't matter either way the they'll erase what's in here so so now we have it so they can uh, I'm saying so a lot um, now we have it so where anyone who plays this game can name their player and I'm going to name it uh, Roger and then look it names it Roger so that's something cool for you to play around with and that is it for this tutorial check out the next one and who knows what we'll be getting into some crazy stuff go to my website www.zack-weber.com subscribe leave a comment like my video thumbs up it whatever it is alright I'll see you guys next week